Seventh week in ordinary time, 23rd of February, Wednesday reflection. It is quite amazing to know that you can perform miracles even without a relationship with Jesus. So it's, it's alarming, isn't it? So that's why, exactly why, you cannot judge yourself by your fruits. You can be disconnected from your root, yet you can perform miracles from the connection that you had earlier. So it's always, it's always a deep relationship that you are required of. That's why today we find John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, don't stop him. Now see the, see, the, see the background, see the theory behind. They don't know Jesus. They are, they are not following him. But they perform miracles. Because the, word, the power is in the word. You can use the word without owning it, without following it. So that's the danger, my dear friends. Uh, he's saying, he's saying in, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 that those not those who call me Father, Lord, Lord would be saved if you do the will of the Father. At that day many would come and say that I have performed miracles in your name, cast out demons in your name, that I would say, I don't know you, I don't know you, you go to hell, Jehenna. So this is a terrible thing, my dear friends. You can be really happy performing miracles. But the Lord is not happy with you. Because all what he wants is to stay connected. That's, that's exactly why in, in Matthew, in Mark chapter 3 verse 13, he went to the mountain and called all the disciples to the mountain. And for what? To be with him first. John chapter 15 verse for it is said, if you abide in me, I will abide in you, and you will be afraid. Without me, you won't be able to do anything. That's exactly why we have to be really careful today. With the word, we have to be careful, and we have to think about our lives. And of course, Jesus is saying, don't stop him. Don't stop him. He's doing something good. He's spreading some, uh, something, spreading the word of God, and he's performing miracles. It's a kingdom, kingdom value. He personally, he is not saved. But that act, act, the Lord is using him. Don't stop him. My dear friends, it's, it's, that's why we have to be careful as to what we do. For your personal salvation, you need to have a personal connection. You have to follow him, my dear friends. That's why John is saying, we try to stop him because he was not following us. To become a disciple is the thing. So to become a disciple, you just have to be obedient. Leave everything and go with him. And for that, for that, for that you have to, you have to have that trust, connection, a deep connection, a relationship with the Lord. Our religion is a relationship. That's why the Lord is saying, for no one who does not, does a mighty work in my name, will be able to soon afterwards to speak evil of me. It won't happen soon after, but, but later it can happen. It can happen gradually. I mean, when we focus on the fruits, not the root. I mean, you focus on the fruits of the Holy Spirit, gifts of the Holy Spirit, not the person. You, you can, it's a, it's a gift. If it is a gift, it's a gift, my dear friends. He won't take back the gifts. 
So you can use that gift for your personal glory. Using the word of God to perform miracles. Not to glorify God, but, but to gather people to yourselves. That's exactly we have to be careful. When you go into the world, there can be people who perform miracles. Do magic, spiritual magic in a way. And they promote themselves with that, with those miracles. On the other hand, just being, if you are connected, if you are connected, you have to have miracles. You have to bear fruits. If you are connected. So connection, miracles would happen automatically. You don't have to perform them. You don't have to go after them. You don't have to focus them. Lord will use you as an instrument for the glory of God. And you, you, you are not the superstar. He is going to be the superstar. The moment you do that, you're being, you're being, you, you, sh you should be an instrument in the hand of God. So that, that's exactly why pride can hit you when you are not a follower of the word. You just follow him. In following, you are doing the will of the Father. In that will, you might perform miracles. But then, sometimes we are, we are not connected and we don't either perform miracles. You don't have nothing. You don't have anything, my dear friends. You have nothing in that way. So that's why the Lord is saying, don't stop them. There's something there. But that is not the thing. You have to be a disciple. That's exactly why the Lord is, the first reading beautifully says, today or tomorrow, come now you who say, today or tomorrow we will go into such and such town and spend a year there and trade and make profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, He will live and do this or that. As it, as it is you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. My dear friends, so that's exactly if the Lord wills. It's a relationship. It's a connection. What is this? If you, if, you, if, you, if you do things for your personal glory without following Him, our life is fragile. I mean, it's, it's limited. Our mortal lives. You know, everything changes. Why you should harbor yourself there? Always you have to remember that I'm here to do the will of the Father. Just to be a follower, not a devotee. It's more than that. So you can start there. But then you can start there. By in the process, you might forget the giver. You focus on the gift. It can happen to us, my dear friends. That's exactly why in Revelation chapter 2, verse 4, it is said, I have one allegation against you. The love that you had earlier, now you don't have it. It can happen. I mean, Judas never had any ulterior motive in following the Lord. It happened now, halfway through. King Saul, he was fully in it, but then it happened later. That's exactly why you have to be careful. Satan can attack you at any time. He's a lion roaring and prodding. And that's exactly why you have to be vigilant. And in the same time, you have to look into yourself, not judging others. So the Lord is saying, mind your own business. No one would, so do not stop them. You have better things to do other than stopping people and judging people and condemning them. Rather, rather doing that, you concentrate on your life. That's exactly what you should do. So think about your rule. Think about your relationship more than the fruits and the miracles. Amen. May God bless you.